Hello everyone! Yesterday we enjoyed an absolutely insane Champions League evening. Leave a like for this episode and share your predictions for today's fixtures. Let's get the show on the pitch! Bayern can consider selling any players except Manuel Neuer, Alexander Pavlovich, Mattis Tell, Thomas Muller and Harry Kane. The agent of little forward Jonathan David was in Milan recently where he spoke with representatives of both Inche Milan and AC Milan. I don't have a written offer from Bayern and there have been no talks yet, Julian Nagelsmann revealed. PSG defender Nordi Mukiela will miss today's game against Barcelona due to an injury. West Ham United are set to compete with Liverpool for Fulham Sanchez back Tosin Adarabioyo. Brighton could replace Roberto de Zerbi with Southampton head coach Russell Martin. The legendary Francesco Totti will captain Italy at the King's League World Cup. Earlier on, Eden Nazar and Samir Nasri have also confirmed their participation. During their summer preseason tour in the USA, Liverpool will face Real Betis on July 26th, followed by meetings against Arsenal and Man United. Who better represents the Barca philosophy? Me or Xavi? Without any doubt, I do. That's my opinion. Look at the data. Ball possession, goal scoring chances created, the high press, trophies. I represent Barca better even if others may think differently," Luis Enrique stated. Brighton have announced the extension of their contract with 18-year-old midfielder Jack Hinchelwood valid until the summer of 2028. Germany's men's national team sporting director Rudi Wöhler has extended his contract with the German Football Association until the end of the 2026 World Cup. John Marto will step down as Manchester United's football director and leave the club after nearly 11 years in various positions at Carrington. Arsenal have joined the battle for Corinthians' 19-year-old central midfielder Breno Bidon. Allison, Diogo Jota, Stefan Bajcetic and Trent Alexander-Arnold have resumed training with Liverpool's first-team squad. Newcastle United have reached an agreement regarding a contract renewal with their key midfielder Joy Linton. The deal will be valid for four years. In a private conversation with Kepa Rizabalaga, Carlo Ancelotti directly told the goalkeeper that there is no longer a place for him in the team. Arsenal will rival Manchester United for Wolverhampton Wanderers central midfielder Joao Gomez. Bayern Munich have offered Schalke's 17-year-old first-team midfielder Asan Audraogo a contract that will last until the summer of 2029, though the teenager is hesitant due to Bayern's uncertainty over their new coach. In case Rafael Liao leaves the club, AC Milan will try to acquire Leeds United star Crescencio Somerville as a replacement. Eduardo Camavinga's goal against Manchester City was his first career goal ever in the Champions League. Alfonso Davies will not be available for the Champions League second leg tie against Arsenal due to accumulating too many yellow cards. Only God will know about my future. I live close to Lisbon. Going to the Estadio de Luz and to the Alvalade Stadium is easy. It's 20 minutes and I'm there. If I could train tomorrow, I would. I feel empty when I don't train. I'll probably go back this summer and I'll try to make the best decision," Jose Mourinho said. Physically, I'm in one of my best moments of my career. I've just turned 34, but I don't feel it. Reaching here at 33, 34 is not easy. I'm not planning to stop now," Hosello told Marca. After completing the transfer of Felipe Anderson, Juventus will focus on landing Bologna's first-choice defender Ricardo Calafiori. My future depends on several factors, but I'm not thinking too much about that right now. We are in talks with the club's officials. It'll probably be more intense in the coming weeks. Now full focus on the game," Leroy Sonic claimed. RB Leipzig will not sell Lois Appendo for less than 100 million euros this summer. De Bruyne threw up in the locker room. He felt unwell," Pep Guardiola shared. I have a contract with Atletico until 2027. I will be here for the next few years, so I can't give a date. But I intend to return to Italy because I felt good and at Catania I learned a lot as a coach," Diego Simeone said in an interview with Dazen. Real Madrid midfielder Aurelien Chomeny will miss the second leg against Manchester City due to accumulating too many yellow cards. 
Tottenham Hotspur and Newcastle United are both showing interest in Leicester City central midfielder Wilfred Ndidi, who is set to become a free agent in the summer. Take a look at Raya. Is this guy even a goalkeeper? Kane doesn't even make a move, but Raya just falls to the ground already, Rafael van der Waard said. Joško Gvardiol netted his first goal for Manchester City. This is only the fourth time in the UEFA Champions League that both teams have scored three plus goals in the first leg of a two leg knockout stage tie, with the previous instance also being between these two sides Man City vs Real Madrid for 3 in 2021 2022. Unfortunately, Serge Gnabry will be out again. He felt something and it's a hamstring injury, Thomas Tuchel informed. Guys, it's time to subscribe to our channel. You're welcome! And now, have a look at the results of yesterday's UCL games. An absolute madness unfolded at the Bernabeu, arguably the best quarter-final duel in the history of the Champions League. Man City opened the scoring in the second minute. However, by the 14th minute, the score was already 2-1 in favor of Real. Camavinga helped the Marengues to get one back when his long-range strike deflected off Diaz for an own goal. And then Rodrigo found the back of the net in an impressive run. However, after the break, Man City took control of the match and scored twice after two stunning long-range shots by Foden and Joško Gvardiol. Real Madrid were saved from defeat only thanks to Valverde's volley goal in the 79th minute. Unbelievable! Arsenal and Bayern also delivered us an entertaining battle. Bakayosaka put the Gunners ahead, but even before the break, Gnabry managed to equalize, and Kane scored from the penalty spot. Only in the middle of the second half, Leandro Trossard was able to save Arsenal from defeat. We are looking forward to second legs and moving on to these episodes other news. Looks like the head coach of sporting Ruben Amorim will be working at Liverpool starting from the next season. The Reds have reached a verbal agreement in principle with Amorim on a three-year contract. The club and the coach only need to discuss the final details. In order to seal the deal, Liverpool will still need to reach an agreement with the Lions. The club is expected to pay about 10 million euros for the Portuguese coach's move. Earlier on, Liverpool's priority was Xabi Alonso, but the club switched to Amorim after the Spaniard chose to stay at Bayer Leverkusen. Sergio Ramos will be playing for another club next season. The legendary centre-back will leave Sevilla as a free agent. Ramos is dissatisfied with the fact that it takes a long time for the club to offer him a new contract, as well as with the team's overall results. In the last seasons of the career, Ramos wants to fight for trophies, therefore he recently traveled to the United States, where he considered possible options for pursuing his career. Among these options are Inche Miami, whose roster features Lionel Messi, Sergio Busquets, Jordi Alba and Luis Suarez. Barcelona have competitors in the race for Athletic Bilbao star Nico Williams. Chelsea are disappointed with the performances of Mihailo Modric and Raheem Sterling, which is why they are looking for options to bolster their attacking flanks this summer, making Nico Williams a priority for the Blues. Williams' release clause is only worth 50 million euros and Chelsea are able to pay that amount this summer. Yet, it'll be much harder for Chelsea to come to an agreement with the footballer himself since Williams dreams of joining Barcelona and will wait for an offer from the Spanish club until the last minute. Real Madrid are already beginning to prepare to life without Toni Kroos and Luka Modric, as both of them are likely to be out of the team in the summer of 2025. Thus, Florentino Perez has found a very unexpected solution to the matter. Real Madrid are actively monitoring Manchester United's young talent, Kabi Mainu. Perez and some other representatives of Real Madrid's board are huge fans of Mainu's talent, seeing him as a future football superstar. Los Blancos also hope that Mainu's compatriot Jude Bellingham will be able to convince the Man United Wisket to join Madrid. Kabi has not yet penned a new deal with his boyhood club, despite a financially lucrative offer. Folks, that's it for today. Check out other suggested videos from our other projects. The Football News Channel was with you. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.